Okay, so this video will be um, answers to questions about isomorphisms. Okay, so very first question. Describe all group isomorphisms from Z5, so the group the, the integers 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, right? 0, 1, 2, 3, 4 under addition, right? So describe all all group isomorphisms from Z5 under addition to Z5 under addition. Okay. <clears throat> uh, first, we should note that Z5 under addition is cyclic. Okay. And you can also see that 1 generates Z5. So 1 is the generator of Z5. Okay. So each isomorphism from a cyclic group, each isomorphism from a cyclic group is determined by the image of the generator. I'm going to write that. Okay, so each isomorphism from a cyclic group is determined by the image of the generator. So the, 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 the generator here will be 1. Okay, so question, what is the order of 1? What is the order of 1 in Z5? Well, the order, we can say the order of element 1 is 5, right? So each isomorphism must take elements of order 5 to an element of order 5. So all elements order 5 in Z5 will be the integers, all integers in Z5, okay? All integers in Z5 that that are relatively prime to 5. So that will be 1. I'm going to exclude 0. 2, 3, 4. Um, you can check that 1 and 5 are relatively prime. 2 and 5 are relatively prime. 4 and 5 are relatively prime. Okay, so what kind of isomorphisms can we get from Z5 into Z5 uh, under addition? Of course, we are talking here of automorphisms, right? S since we are looking for isomorphisms from Z5 to Z5, we are talking about automorphisms. Okay, the very first one, I'm going to call it 1, that takes Z5 to Z5, will be, so we are going to take the element 1 into 1, that's so, so evident, this 1. Okay, so what will the, um, the mapping be? This is going to be 1x, right? Really easy. Let us choose a second one from z5 to z5, f of 2 for element 1. So we are taking element 1 into 2. So this will be f of 2 x will be 2x, right? So, so it's more or less obvious that f3, the third isomorphism from z5 
2 z5 will be f3 of 1, 3, so that will be 3x, right? And the fourth, from z5 to z5, the fourth automorphism, it will be 4x. That's absolutely obvious, right? So the automorphisms of z5, the automorphisms of z5, they form a group under composition of maps okay and that that group let us say the automorphisms of z5 form a group um, under composition of maps and that group is isomorphic to the group of units 5 